to our wonderful correspondent in the field, Bill Board. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Bill Board with PNX News, and I'm here tonight with the multi-talented Paul Rossler. Hey, Bill. How's it going? Hi, folks. Um, and he has just uh, put together a little presentation about his new piece. Um, I want to say Galatia, but that's not right. Galatea. Galatea, yes. And uh, it's a very um, interesting song about an interesting concept, and it ties in with the book. And I think Paul can explain it better than I can. So can you give us just a sure. overall view it's, on uh, the project? The, it's uh, um, based on a book by Richard Powers called Galatea 2.2, which is a fantastic book that I got back when it first came out. And um, my friend came to me a few years ago about possibly turning into a musical, which really wasn't a good idea because it's basically just a guy staring at a computer screen and that's like how do you make a musical out of that yeah. but Where's i wrote the some, dance numbers, yeah, exactly you know? yeah. but i wrote a bunch of music at the time and then uh, a few years later i just i kept listening back and I'm like what am i going to do with this i like it and then i just strung it into one big piece it's about 20 minutes long and uh the theme of it is ai so there's a lot of um there's a lot of instruments turning into voices and voices turning into instruments it's kind of um in the book, the, uh, an artificial intelligence becomes conscious. And it's not kind of like sci-fi, it's pretty literary, so it's like, it's interesting, you, you very slowly watch this AI begin to going from just a, a random machine to starting almost seeming like maybe it knows it's there, you know, very slowly. Bye, Anne, thank you for coming. Bye, Sandy. Did you just say hello? Yes. Good. Okay, my dear. <laughs> oh, we had so much fun tonight. Yeah. Cool. Um, so, uh, so the the piece reflects the book. I have this fantasy in my head that if you really want to experience the full artwork, you buy our our little book. Hold on, here. Yeah, we got one right here. Oh yeah, cool. You buy this, you buy this little tiny book that has the lyrics in it and a free download. And you look at the lyrics and you're like, I don't get it. This makes no sense. And then you listen to the music. You're like, oh, that's a, that's a nice piece of music. But then if you read this book, which, the, which it's based on, your mind will like open in all these directions and you'll listen to this piece again. And um, for me, that there's this, you've gone through this whole, like this is the tip of the iceberg. And then the piece is, well, I don't know, this, this analogy doesn't work because there's three tiers. But once you've read the book and then listen to the music, you've gotten the whole iceberg. And it's... it's um, it's kind of a big work then, and you can actually, we had a big talk here, and everybody, we were all talking about the implications and the ideas in the piece of the music and the book, and it was fun. Mm -hmm. It was. Yeah. And uh, it, it made one think. It definitely made one think about possibilities, and I think there were a lot of points that were brought up that most people hadn't really arrived at yet. Yeah, and it's not dry either. The book... Um, it sounds like we're talking about AI, and it sounds like, what is it, a sci-fi book or something? But it's, it's uh, and I hope the piece, too, it's very emotional because it's about what is it to be a human, or what makes a human, or what is consciousness, or what is it to, uh, to use the old medieval language, what is a soul? You know, and could a machine have a soul? Uh, and, and, you know, so those ideas, and, and it's actually not as, it's not dry, it's actually kind of, you could just kind of be swept up in it is the idea. Yeah, it really gives us a lot of points to ponder about. And, um. and if you don't want to ponder points, you can just listen because I think it sounds and feels like something. Even if you, um, even if you don't go down the rabbit hole of all the ideas, I feel like it, it works on different levels. It does. Yeah. It does, absolutely. And, and we'll play a little, uh, little excerpt or two for you to listen to. But if you want to have the full experience... The little book? How would we get the little book? Uh, this is for sale on Bandcamp. It's three bucks. And then you can find this book by Richard Powers, Galatea 2.2 on Amazon. We got a couple copies. Um, uh, and then, uh, so Bandcamp, uh, the, the people that are putting out is Brass Tax Press. So I think you have to go Brass Tax Press Galatea to find it. Um, uh, so uh, hopefully that'll be easier um, and, and then, and then the, the music it's available for download yeah you can also just get the music and not get the book it's like a buck for 20 21 minutes which is heck of a deal I like we continue to destroy the music industry by setting new levels of just complete idiocy in commerce any uh, any future thoughts about making a uh, uh, 
prestige edition, with, maybe with vinyl and, and a book, or I don't know. Um, I you know, when you're a musician now and you think about releases, the idea of like vinyl, CD, or just digital download, it's like all futile. So I was so excited that we did a we released the song as a book. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it just seemed like something like really cool and different. Um, because uh, I don't think people necessarily play CDs or some people play vinyl. I'm not planning on a vinyl. I'm actually thinking about my next CD, mm -hmm. which is uh, I have the music written. And I was kind of like, is this going to go on? This other CD is now it's too long. So I'm really got, glad this got released separately. And now I can put out, I am going to actually, my next release is going to be a CD of songs. Cool. So. Looking forward to that. Oh, sure. Right sure on. you are, Bill. I am. I, I, <laughs> I have kidding. all your stuff. I always buy your stuff. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Dedicated you. fan. And you should be, too. So, uh, If he says so, it must be true. Uh, yeah, that's right. Because, because this is the media right now. That's right. And this is Billboard reporting the news like I actually believe it. So, I think a lot of the, um, the sorrows and the struggles of humanity is because of scarcity and because we know we're going to die and we're afraid. What if we gave birth to an entity that didn't have a body that was going to get sick and die, that could live forever, wasn't afraid of running out of food or being cold? You know, we think we are um, special and unique in the universe, and we, we are, we are wonderful and beautiful. But I think it would be a, a, a great destiny to give birth to something that went through the universe at light speed, that we are the parents of, but that far surpassed us. And um, everybody is afraid that, well, then they might kill us. I hope they don't, but if they do, I'm sure they'll have a really good reason. <laughs> Any questions? Do you guys want to argue? I, I, I'm trying to be optimistic. I deliberately have taken that, that course in life to be optimistic. Not realistic. Optimistic and hopeful. Maybe there's some self-fulfilling prophecy to that. Maybe my optimism is beneficial in some way. So, this piece is really long. I'm going to play a couple pieces from it. I really just wanted to talk. <laughs> but now I'm here, the piano's sitting in front of me. You guys expect me to play something. Uh, I'll see what I can do.